Welcome to Jurassic Park. It's <laughs> it's Loki. He's got the golden horns. Oh man, look at that. He is not happy about the neighbors turning up at his door. <laughs> Hello, thank you for joining and welcome back if you're following the series. This is part four of Jurassic Park, uh, my playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, last session we made some improvements to how our park looks uh, and today we're going to continue that by improving our Ceratosaurus enclosure uh, and developing a hotel area. I think there's a good chance we'll actually unlock the next island in this session, uh, but we're not going to go shooting straight over there. Instead, we're going to be focusing on completing the science mission uh, here and getting everything kind of sorted on this island before moving to the next, getting ourselves ready for the next challenge. Uh, so without further ado, let's head over and get going. Uh, so we've got our Draco Rexes over here. We've got a little little area over here for people who think I'm shopping, get some food. And we've got our little uh, facilities park over here. Uh, in fact, let's move. No, actually, before we move, we're going to send this. We, George has asked us for a very simple mission, so we're going to send him out to go and get a Ceratosaurus part for us there. Very nice and easy. There we go. Uh, but yeah, this is where we're looking to do our next bit of work. We are looking to try and get our uh, hotel built. Um, I was thinking instead of building it over this way, actually building it here inside. Uh, the, Ceratos the Ceratosaurus enclosure. I don't know how far we can build it in, but it might be like a little plaza, like maybe here. Uh, so we're going to do that. First, I want to make sure, actually thinking about it, these guys are fed. Because you have to manually make sure that your Acknowledging request for feeder resupply. feeders are resupplied. Uh, so let's get one over there. Understood. Uh, in fact, you know what? We've got the cash now. Let's get another team. And they can go and do the other one as well. Heading to the is that one even is that one you're doing? No, that one's fine. Cool. We will wait for that one. Excellent stuff. Um in fact in the meantime we will get some other things. Look at our research levels. Um I would actually like to start getting some more different uh, unusually designed dinos out into the park to increase our star rating. So we're gonna start getting some DNA designs whilst we're out here. And then when the expedition comes back, we will look at getting uh, moving that over here somewhere. But for now, this is the area we are looking at doing. So I'm going to actually close off, if I can do, this section of the park. Just to keep Chompy busy over there for a little bit. Uh, and we will get working on this area here. I think we're going to get another dinosaur out there as well. We're going to get another Ceratosaurus over here with Chompy. Um, but first, let's get this area built, and we'll do that as part of the, the grand reopening of the area once we've done that. Get all this area nice and flat for our uses. Uh, oh, we've got some fossils. Oh, yes, that's mission for... Oh, we're done already. George is happy with us. Uh, let's go to fossils. Nice work there on is. that expedition contract. Hopefully what you brought back doesn't end up as another thorn in our side. In fact, actually, let's have a quick look at the contracts and see what we've got. Uh, because, we're, yeah, we're quite high with security at the moment. We're close to unlocking this security center. Uh, I don't actually know what that does. Oh. Ah, this, this is what we've... Um, these are the things we've unlocked before. Is it the same for the... Yes. So, Isla Masanceros unlocks. So, Mantanceros. So these are the unlocks for this island with each of the different factions. Okie dokie. So we're quite far with security. So if we keep doing submissions for George, we'll get that maxed out. And then we can then go on to, we've got a little bit of reputation with Isaac. We can try and get those unlocked. And then finally we can do the science. We can get all of these unlocked um, before moving on to the next island and we're ready to go. We've got everything we can get out of this island done, which is excellent. That's really, really cool. Uh, any research? Yeah, research is ongoing. Uh, in fact, you know what? Before we do that, let's go back to the contracts and get another contract from George if we can do. In that case, if we can get him ticked off. I like this contract. You should too. Yeah, that's not too bad. Get three new diamonds in a go. We're looking to do that anyway, so that's fantastic. In fact, we'll start that now. Um, I'm going to get another, I think another Triceratops or another Edmontosaurus for around here because these guys, you guys need some friends with them. They're pretty chill together, but it would be nice if we had a few more in there. So let's get that going. Uh, I wonder if any of them have got any... Who's got the highest percentage? Uh, the Edmontosaurus has got it by 1%. Uh, can we get any funky colours on the go? Let's have a look. 
No, none for the Admontosaurus. How about Triceratops? You got any cool... cool oh, we do. We can get the Arid Pattern. Yeah, let's give that a go. It goes down to 55, but we do have the area increased by 30%. So that brings it up to 85. So hopefully, it's not a waste of a quarter of a million dollars. That's one of our dinosaurs on the go. Excellent stuff. Right. So, meanwhile, back over here in our uh, halfly uh, opened up park. Uh, let's smooth this out because I can see the line from a distance and it's not very pleasant. There we go. That's just me wanting things to be smooth. Uh, I'm going to build ourselves a hotel. Oh, pretty big. Actually, pretty big. Uh, uh, oh, and it looks like it's got. Yes, it's got a viewing circle. It's like one of the viewing, so it actually counts where you're looking out the window. Actually counts. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can maximize that a little bit if we can do. We'll build it like something like there, maybe, and get the most out of it. There we go. Build it like there, and you're getting a good view of this section. And we can build another viewing center over here in a little bit. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build around it as tightly as we can. So uh, let's go from here up to the gate. Carefully make our way around. What's interesting, a lot of the elements in this game have quite a big footprint, like as in an area that you you know you can't build because it's, it's overlapping the building or the object. Um, but the hotel seems to be pretty pretty good for letting us build around it. Or maybe it's just fences. Maybe fences are like to be that a bit more than than other kind of aesthetic items like the trees and the stones and whatnot, which are the things that I really wanted to actually put out here. <laughs> Uh, right here, let's get that coming down like that. There we go. And in fact, let's get these. Let's get these straight, shall we? I know these things aren't important to the actual mechanics of the game, but it's important for me. I like it to look like this. So, right. and then if we unlock this again, we now have this hotel right in the middle of our uh, Ceratosaurus enclosure. That's very cool. I like that. It doesn't have power yet or anything. Uh, but in fact, we're going to build a little um, enclosure here if we can do. See if our Ceratops is doing. Oh, ready to go. Oh, let's check it out. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's, <laughs> it's Loki. He's got the golden horns. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Hey, buddy. I am Loki, Prince of Dinosaurs. <laughs> well, that is going to be your name to start off with, buddy. Let's get you named real quick to Loki, because that is awesome. I'm a big fan of that. And we'll get him sent over to the park. So first things first, we get him tranquilized. Setting additional task. Then we'll get the get him moved over in a little bit. Uh, and we're going to get another Edmontosaurus. We're not going to bother with colouring them, I don't think. I don't think there are any options. But let's have a look. Make sure that that new one that was unlocked didn't apply. No, we've got nothing here. I wonder if adding any of these changes the colouring. So this increases its resilience. And also its rating, which is interesting. Uh, and that increases its lifespan. Let's, let's give this one with the increased rating. We'll give it a try. Uh, and we'll try and get ourselves another Ridmontosaurus. How you doing, Loki? You doing all right? King of the, of the dinosaurs. Uh, so we're going to try and make kind of like a bit of a plaza here, I think, as well. So we'll use this fancy path, which is very nice. Uh, and I'm going to try and make some sort of um, kind of like plaza area. So we've got... Uh, what do we got for shops? We've got... And the gift shop, fast food, the clothes shop, and the restroom. So, got like gift shop. We need, we need a space for four, really, because we need to have uh, there's a restaurant coming as well, I think, in the near future. So, let's see if we can make space for four and make it look cool at the same time. <laughs> That's the hard part. So, I'm going to build this, like this. Is that not straight? There we go. Build it out to there. And there. And then, yes, that'll do it like that there. Something like that. And then we'll do the same. We'll try and mirror it on this side if we can do. 
Oh, well, that's an ugly junction, but never mind. Uh, so we've got a little a section here. I'm going to start building some of the guest facilities. So we've got the clothes shop all the way over here. That's where we're going to build the path. I'm not going to build that there yet, so I can go there. Far across as we can do, so we've definitely got room for the things on the side. And uh, then we've got the fast food restaurant. And go just there. Brilliant stuff. Uh, we've got the clothes shop. Wait, did we do a clothes shop? What are you? You're a gift shop and a fast food shop. <laughs> okay. We've got the clothes shop over here. And what don't, we don't want to interrupt the path. So in fact, yeah, we'll put you on the side because you're a bigger building, so we'll put you there. And for now, I guess we can put some toilets there, I guess. May as well. Put them there. Oh, I wonder if we can put a... There's the... Oh, wrong one. It's the big tree. Not quite. I wonder if we do... Something like this. Not affecting the path yet, which is nice. Throw a little bit at the top. Can you... Oh, we can do! Look at that! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, that's very cool. I'm liking the look of that an awful lot, right? Uh, so we're going to get a regular path. I'm going to bring it along here, like this. But I think this is what they're complaining about, not being enough paths. But we'll find out now. Yes, there we go. Uh, but there's not enough power, so that is... I mean, that's fair enough. You do need power. So we're going to build a substation, hopefully... It'll be enough to get all of them. Maybe I'll build two. Maybe I'll build one here. But actually, that will get all of them, I think, there. Let's extend our power over this way. Into facilities area. Yeah, two. Not far enough. Boo. Back to there. Oh. Are we low on power? That's the other question. 22 power required, available zero. Yeah, that's a little bit of power needed. So let's build a power station for this area. Uh, we'll build it. How far back can we go? We can go quite far back. Uh, I'm going to build the expedition center around here. So I think this should be fine for power plants. We'll build that all the way around. Do we need to flatten the terrain. Is that the issue? Oh, the other way around, please. There we go. Oh, is that, the, is that as far as where we can build it? Mm, I guess it's better than nothing, I guess. We do need the power plant. Um, I've always got the money and to build another one, but... In fact, with our research, let's see if we can unlock some additional power. Uh, is it an upgrade? Building upgrades for power? Yeah, here we go. Improved 14% increase with a 5% risk of power outage. Okay. Uh, reduces the cost by 4%. Oh, reduces the risk of power by 10%. Okay, so if we get one of those and one of those, that should cancel each other out. And we'll get 40% more power out of our power plants. Cool. Yeah, we'll go for that. That sounds good. Uh, let's check our dinosaur release as well. Oh, it requires power, so we can't actually let them out yet. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, can we... What can we... Anything we can power down to kind of, like, give ourselves a bit more time? In fact, you know what? We're not going to use this anymore. We're going to get rid of it. Yes. Does that give us enough power? No, it does not. <laughs> uh, I've got a missing power. Ah, there we go. So, paths. We're using the cheap paths. We'll sneak through here if we can do. And you can connect straight to there. There we go. Is that giving us better power? Nope, because we've not connected the main lines. Here we go. There we go. That's more like it. Woo! How are we doing for power now? We've got 14 available. Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, well, guests are coming down here to our uh, hotel overlooking the Ceratosaurus. Excellent stuff. Uh, we can go and release our, our new Edmontosaurus. Here we go. Oh, I 
do love these guys' faces. Ooh, 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 ooh. Our job, no, our mission, is the music coming? Raising these animals is to provide from this? An environment for them to thrive. Your habitat it's is weird. too small for them. It's it's not a habitat, Claire. Come on, it's this obviously a. Dinosaur, the Edmontosaurus <laughs> was originally uncovered at a site in Canada. I'll let you guess where. So the T Rex thinks these are delicious, and who's to argue? We're gonna call this one Jackson, because his face looks like a Jackson Pollock artwork. They're beautiful painted faces, uh, and we're gonna get him transported. Nope, sedated first, and then transported over to, Adding to the, list. the next environment over here. How's Loki getting on? Is Loki over here? Loki? Where did, I, where did I put him? Oh, he's still there! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Loki! <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's a delivery. There we go. <laughs> Uh, try not to forget about that one, perhaps this time. Uh, let's move you whilst I am over here, actually. You're not on a mission. But you moved over to this area over here, so... Plus, you get a 300,000 re refund, and it costs 400,000 to build it, so yeah. Not a bad deal, not a bad deal. And there, hopefully, we'll be covered power if we're lucky. We're going to build another little cheap path along here. Fantastic stuff. We've got room for the power plant there if we need it. Are we doing money? No, we won't do that quite yet. Uh, I do want to spend a bit more on dinos. Uh, how are the feeders looking? Let's get our ranger team. Uh, well, they're all blue, which is good. What we want to see. Blue means you can go and restock it, but it's not urgent yet, so it's not too bad. Uh, let's go and check out our poor Sleepy Jackson. Let's get you, let's get you home. Come on, buddy. And a nice new fancy environment for you. There we go. So, now we have our hotel over here. Let's look at getting a new exhibition just for the hotel. Now, we, yes, there is a new color variation, Savannah pattern. A Savannah pattern. Let's give it a go. Fingers crossed we'll have a very cool dinosaur coming our way soon. Uh, how are things going on down here? Everyone doing well? Yeah, little guy's doing all right. Yeah. Poppy, Dampy, all the others. Uh, research is completed. What else can we get for research? Let's have a look. Oh, we're looking at getting building upgrades, weren't we? So we want to have the um, outage protection. Yes, that is the important one. Uh, but we're going to... No, we won't risk it yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get him upgraded now. No, we'll wait. We will wait. Hotel is looking very busy, which is very nice. Let's see what people's needs are like. Got um, low demand for food. So do you have some? Do you have some demand for food, which is interesting? And water. They're okay for gifts. They're okay for entertainment. They're okay for toilets. We need something over here, which we can now build now. This has moved out of the way. And something up here as well. Uh, all these guys seem to be okay. For everything excellent. And how are we doing up here in the north over our Dracorex? Excellent. Even toiletries they're happy with, which seems uh, unusual, but, you know, I'm fine with that. I'll accept that, but no problem. And um, we've got our dinosaurs delivered and out here in the park now. Excellent stuff. Look at these two hanging out together, doing a bit of socialising. And here comes Loki with his golden crown. I shall rule over all of you. You mewling curs. <laughs> oh. Nice crowded park. Very nice. Cool. Uh, so, this is all sorted over here. Let's go to Cinema on Expedition. Uh, oh, you know what we do have that I forgot about entirely? We have got the Hiang... the Hiang Yangosaurus. Hiang Yangosaurus. I think that's how it's pronounced. We're going to give that a go. But it's a brand new dinosaur is what it is. <laughs> so we're going to go and send a mission up for that. And then we're going to look at getting this area looking a bit fancier, I think. We've got a nice park here. Uh, with our hotel, we're going to try and make this a bit fancier. So, uh, let's see if we can name this place something like the Chartreuse Lookout Hotel. That means a bit of a mouthful, but never mind. 
Uh, I wonder if we can make it look like it's like a, a rocky outcropping or something. Um, yeah, let's give that a go. So maybe I'll put a bit of water around here. Smallest radius for water, please. We can build like a little moat, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Doing something weird with the terrain, though. It doesn't like it too much. We do that. A bit smoother. That's quite nice. And then they might come over here to go and get some snacks, which would be quite cool. Uh, we're going to fill out this area back here with some foliage, so it's kind of like... You only get these exclusive views if you stay in the hotel, guys. <laughs> we fill in this area here? No? Okay. Uh, and we'll deforest a bit of this stuff here. In fact, what we might do is we might kind of link it with this area here, with this tree. I might try and put a few of them in here. Do I get rid of this water so they can only see it? The water always comes over here. That is a temptation. Hmm. Maybe we will do that. Yeah, I think we will do that, actually. Let's try and maximize our... Uh, I think like commercial monsters. <laughs> Get it all smoothed out. Like so. I what, I'll do, what I will actually do, I think I'll, I'll deforest this whole area. I will build just these cool giganta trees. So build one here. One here. Maybe one like right in the middle here, like this. Gonna decorate it a little bit with a bit of a bit of brown on top. Okay, a bit more there. We've got some fossils back, which is great. We'll do all that in a second. Build these just on these little hills here, like this. Fantastic stuff. Let's rotate you around, build you on top of this one. And our research is done, so we can get some extra power out of these things as well, which is great. There, I guess, is the best place for it. Oh, that's nice, because now you get a really good view of all the dinos. And they still, are they still comfortable? Yep, there's enough forest for them, there's enough grassland for them, there's enough wetland for them. Perfect. Perfect, so. Uh, I'm going to put a few more decorations in. We're going to put a bit more uh, rocks in, I think. Maybe I should have gone up rather than down with it. Maybe it should have been like a, a hill rather than a... I wonder if we can change that now. Let's have a good look. Oh, he, kind of, he kind of buries the rock as well, which is actually quite cool. Um, I quite like that, actually. <laughs> we will use that to our advantage, and we will keep that as it is. Let's build a little rocky outcrop area, so if one of them wants to come up here and stand and do the uh, the proper Jurassic World roar, they have a place to do so if they wish. King of the Mountain. Uh, and we'll put a bit of wildlife around the outside of it, I think. It's a difficult tool to use in terms of knowing what you're going to get. It seems to be a bit varied in terms of what you're going to get out of these things, so... I think I'm just kind of trying to use it and hope for the best, basically. <laughs> um, and what I might do here is I might make this into... Where's my paintbrush? A rocky outcropping? Yeah, that actually looks quite cool, I like that. There we go. And it's like you're, you're on a little island looking out into the, the danger zone. And a few little rocks should help that as well, I think. So as you may have noticed, I do like doing these kind of, uh, I like the, the visual side of a lot of these things. Oh, there's a little goat. <laughs> uh, oh, hello, what's this? Oh, and there we go. There's our, we, we've gotten to three stars. I think that's all we need to do to get to the next bit. Uh, and we've unlocked our next island. Yes. Dr. Sight Malcolm. C, hello. More commonly known as Isla Muerta. A newly developed island. The name a newly roughly developed translated. Island. And I do mean roughly the island of the dead. Oh yay! Excellent. <laughs> Fitting. Humorous even. Humorous even. Uh, so when we go to the next island, uh, we will be having tropical storms. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, we'll be using the ranger team and the ACU management to do that with. And there are more diseases on the island. Okay, but we're not going to go there yet. We're going to stay here. Uh, and we're going to make sure we get the most out of this particular island before moving on. Uh, and that includes putting a few more, just a few more rocks down here. Just to make it look a little bit more like it's integrated. And less like it's just kind of, you know, slapped on. Which is what it actually is. 
Uh, nope, I need the scenery. Want one of these ones, please? I like these. These long ones are very useful for. Oh wait, what? The inevitable. Life begets death. What? But here's the question that you got to ask yourself: Was this avoidable? The answer. Oh, oh no, Stumpy! Death Did he drown? Coming, but could you have delayed it? Oh no! Well, that's maybe another story. Oh no, Stumpy! What happened? Died of old age. Oh my gosh. Lifespan. Expected lifespan 40, age 42. Oh, look at him. Poor little guy. Oh, I'm sorry, Stampy. Oh, um. So. What happens now? Uh, Rangers? No. Oops. ACU? Can you? Remove? Oh, Stampy. I'm sorry. One of my very first little dinos finally gone. Oh, it's sad that they have lifespan. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but yeah, you know what? I didn't, I didn't think about it. I didn't think it through. And now off they go. Poor little guy. Uh, well, when John Hammond closes a window, off he goes. He opens a door. Or something like that. As I believe we should have... Oh, no, we don't have. I thought we had a... I thought we started in a Ceratosaurus. <laughs> well, now we've started on a Ceratosaurus. There we go. Unless it's already out there. No, it's not already. Not already out there, is it? No, okay. The map function is very useful for finding dinos, because if you press that, it shows you exactly... Oh, Pumpy's right up there. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> He is not happy about the neighbours turning up at his door. <laughs> but you're giving them a show though, buddy. And I do I do kind of appreciate that, so thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, I hope that, I do hope this fence is strong enough. I think this is your room here. Looking <laughs> out. <laughs> Knowing that he is not very happy. Uh, this is looking a bit nice though. I like, I'm liking the look of this now. It's pretty cool. And um, we're gonna build another enclosure, another viewing point over here. We're gonna build a path all the way around, I think. Connect it all together. Um, once we get another dinosaur release, we need to also get uh, our dinosaur rating up, which should also help with that. Uh, so in fact, we'll do that now. We'll build our other enclosure now. We don't have anything urgent on the go. Blocked. What? Expedition completion pending insufficient fossil capacity. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh wow, okay. Um, Let's get all these done then. Oh, I should have waited for the Stratosaurus for these. Can I cancel? Is it too late to cancel the dinosaur getting made? Is that a thing you can... Oh, you can. Partial refund. Okay, yeah. Um, that's fine, because I want to... I wanna, um... Yeah, we'll get this as, as high as we can do before we do that. Ceratops, excellent. Excellent stuff. Love me some Triceratops. Uh, so whilst we'll do some research... We can get some more genetic things along the way. What are these? Uh, increase defense and attack straights. Lifespan. Increase the lifespan. Oh, we'll do that with, with the next, our left, next little Ceratosaurus. <laughs> oh, and here, here are the new ones. Here we go. So... Oh, look at this guy. Stegosaurus style. Uh, yeah, let's get you on the go as well. We've got some good fossils for that. Perfect. Uh, we will do that. And or not. Oh, we need to wait for one of them to do before we do the next one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I might send you out to go get some more of those, actually, though, because I do like me some of those. They look pretty cool. We've got a whole new dinosaur on the go. I'll spend 100000 on that trip. Go for it. Uh, so whilst they are busy doing their business, we did say we're going to build another enclosure over here. And maximize our view of this area. So something like that should do the trick. Could even build another feeder over here, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, we will build more path out this way. So can we get yeah, us to build straight from there? No, nope, it does not like doing junctions at all. So we'll have to do a little little finessing, I think. No, no, come on. Come on, you know what I'm trying to do. There we go, that's it. 
and then you can join in kind of can, can i get a curve going like manually no not really <laughs> it's close enough it doesn't really count but it's fine uh right i'm gonna get this path going around here open up a bit more retail space for the park get that going and give people a reason to kind of uh make their way around the park like this there we go connect to that there fantastic you can connect up to that and then we're just going to need power right so build that there and we're going to hope that we're going to build some facilities over here as well some guest facilities and you can connect up to this power station there we go we have another view of our ceratosaurus park how are you getting on? Oh, we cancelled it, didn't we? I was like, what is happening with the Ceratosaurus? <laughs> when is it going to be ready? Uh, oh, fossils we're looking at, wasn't it? Fossils for the Ceratosaurus. Uh, cool, we're on the new stuff now. So, in fact, while we're there, get that one underway. Uh, and we will now incubate our Ceratosaurus, which is 84%. Fantastic. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Incubate, please. Fingers crossed that's going to be a good one. And it also increase our star rating, fingers crossed. So this is looking good over here. I'm thinking I might build another enclosure here for these new dinosaurs that are coming through. We'll build them in this little area. It would be quite nice. Some more fossils coming through. Some cash from silver. Three star, fantastic. Four star, even better. We're going to have these Yayangosauruses uh, here very soon. <laughs> uh, and in preparation, actually, I'm going to move this power station over here. And by move, of course, I mean build the second one and delete the first one, because that's how that works. Can you connect with that? No. Can you come connect with that one? Yes, you can. We'll build our path across here, like so. Wait, have I built this backwards? Oh, I have built it backwards. Um, cancel? Cancel, please? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's rotate. Turn around. There we go. Oh, we can get it oh, we can get it all the way back now as well, which is quite nice. I haven't been able to fit a third one in, so I'm going to build it right here, actually. Let's even build it along behind it at some point. I think that's going to be too far to... Uh, do otherwise. Build you over there. I think what I might do is I might build a I might try and separate this path out so they're not we haven't got people walking through the facilities section. This is meant to be kind of like, you know, exclusive for the staff and stuff, rather than people just kind of wandering around for enjoying the park. Although we're getting a lot of guests now, which is very nice. Look at this. Well, I'm seeing a lot of lab coats, but I'm also seeing a lot of people in general, so that's a good sign, I think. Uh, do we have stats on our uh, how many people we have in the park? No, doesn't look like it. Nope. A lot of money, a lot of money stats. Um, not that I can see in the way of anything else, though. I think we've got three contracts on the ghost. We can't do any more. Uh, we are close with George, though. If we can get this third dinosaur released, that will be George satisfied, hopefully. That's built. Fantastic. We're going to demolish this one. Get rid of this path. Uh, and we're going to fix our power connection by going around this way. Close. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and we'll build an enclosure here, I think, for our new our new dinos. Um, anything else going on in the research centre in the meantime? Have a little look. Um... What else have we got around here? Uh, I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. Money doesn't seem too tight. Um, extra objective for the ranger team's not too bad, actually. We'll give that a go, perhaps. Speaking of the ranger team, let's check on our food supplies. How's everyone doing? So you two need food. We'll do you two as a set. Responding to resupply request. There we go. And then team one. You need food. For the Reader supplies inbound. And then one for you, for our new Draco Rexes. Wait. Ah. 
<laughs> well, you'll have a hard time doing that, my ranger friends, because I'd forgotten to put a gate in. There we go. That's better. <laughs> and we do actually have the uh, an available Yangosaurus now, so that'll maybe be the next one we do, uh, which is quite cool. What if we can do some decoration on this part of the park uh, while we're waiting for that next thing to come out? Oh, no. Is here our new deadly Ceratosaurus, a brand new attraction for the new hotel area. Let's see what we get. Ooh, look at that. Oh, he's like a noir. <laughs> Noirosaurus. What's black and white and dead all over? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Welcome to the park, my friends. This he is a carnivore. Is there are distinctive spines that run down its back and a bladed horn on its head. He looks <laughs> just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Particularly oh, deadly. I do like this new coloring. That is very cool. Whoop, where we go back over there. That is excellent. Cool. So we're going to get you out in the park because that is very good, right? Uh, also, that, cr that completed two tasks by doing that, which is excellent stuff. Um, we've also... I've got a new contract for you. Review it, and then I think you should accept it. Uh, increase shelters 10%. That's a nice easy one. Yeah, we will definitely do that, actually. Get George satisfied. Um... Oh, and security center. Oh, is that it? Is that us done? Let me, let me get this on the go first. I'm gonna get you to put to sleep. And then we'll go check out the contracts. Yes, that is done for George. So we didn't need, we didn't need to do that last one. Uh, so we're going to go over and get Isaac sorted, I think, uh, and then we'll fix with Doctor Doa uh, as we round off our experience here at the end of the park. Is this just nothing? Is this just not a, not a thing? Connect you for redundancy, just in case. Don't know if it's needed or not, but there we go. So what should we call our new sharp-looking? Ceratosaurus. There he's sleepy Ceratosaurus. Uh, let's get him moved. I'm liking the noir theming. I'm thinking maybe someone out of um bring him let's bring him right here in front of the hotel, shall we? Heading to pick up the asset. Uh, and the Ranger team is added on as well. Excellent stuff. Everything is going pretty well at the moment, which is great. In fact, I was looking at putting a, um, an enclosure here. We could put an enclosure over here. It's quite a big area. Quite a big area. Potentially we could do that. We now have this new building we can add in to get a bit more uh, prime destination for park visitors from the security sector generates additional income. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get a let's get a shelter down first if we can do. Get George done. I don't mean, have to worry about George too much anymore after that. I squeeze it up here, right next to the. Just kind of still within the facility section. Sounds good to me. Got a path connected up. There we go. Um, it's not really like a shopping kind of area, so I don't think I'm going to put it here. It's for when they come in. So I think I'm thinking by the uh, like somewhere like back here, for example, by the. Um, the car. If, if this is a military building and this is, this is for people who come from the military to kind of experience uh, i think this is a good place for them to have it is, is right here where they can come and immediately view the ceratosaurus and if they're staying at the hotel they'll have to take a full lap of the place to come and, come and see it which would be very cool so yeah that's what we're going to go with we're going to build that thrust of there uh, which should help increase us and once it's built this should cover it on its own i think for the shelter coverage here he comes. <laughs> Up he goes. Uh, is that enough to increase the shelter? 10%? Yes. There we go, that's George Happy. With the right person for the job. Uh, and then before we land that in, we're going to get another contract if we can do from Isaac this time. We're going to get our entertainment value up. Here's a chance to really prove yourself. Oh, nice and easy one. Excellent stuff. Yeah, we can do that. Brilliant. 
lastly here, we'll get the hotel's perspective. We can do as he comes down. I think we're going to name him Bogart after Humphrey Bogart. I think I like that. Yeah. We have touchdown. Cheers from the hotel. He's immediately the alpha. Oh, he's just, <laughs> he's just lying down with a yawn. Well, don't know how you managed to get the alpha status, but you know, there we go. Well, welcome to the park, Bogart. Welcome on in. So there we have it. We've unlocked the second island and the Ceratosaurus enclosure has had a revamp, including the addition of a beautiful stripy noir Bogart. And uh, of course, the hotel in there as well. Uh, but we've still got a bit of work left to do to finish off here on Isla Matanceros. Uh, we've got one contract down and we're halfway through Isaacs and then we'll finally need to complete the science work for poor Dr. Doa, who we've yet to do any real work for yet so far. Uh, if, unlike Dr. Doa, you've enjoyed my video today, uh, please leave a like and if you want to catch the rest of my Jurassic Park or any of my other work, uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when my next video is released. But for now, from me and the dinos, take care and we'll catch you next time.